What's going on guys? Welcome back to Grave Uncut. I know it's been some time since I uploaded last time on this channel. Been a little busy with some stuff in my personal life, trying to get my head back into the content making game. But, the wait's over, hiatus is done, I'm back. So, for the first video back, we're gonna do a movie review. Last night, me and the guys saw It Chapter 2. If you're not familiar with It, check out our last video that we did on uh, the, first, the first movie of the series to give you a better backstory. I'll wait a few minutes till you see the video. Actually, pause this one, watch it, then come back. I'll wait. All right. So now that you're all caught up, It Chapter 2 takes place 27 years from the original. We now see the main cast as adults. A lot, a lot basically happens from when they were kids to adults. Let's start with the characters. The people they chose to play the adults of the kids that were in the original, in the very first uh, It movie, got us. They couldn't have picked a better cast for it. They all basically looked like their child counterparts, just 27 years older. So the main plot point of It Chapter Two is Pennywise ain't dead. I'll let that sink in for a second. Pennywise is not dead from the first movie. They thought they killed him, and needless to say. As I said in the previous review, if you're living in Maine, you're gonna have a bad time. Anyway, so we see um, Henry, who's still living in Barry, Maine. To start, we have Henry, who is still living in Barry, Maine, where he's starting to see signs that Pennywise is still alive. He then reaches out to everybody else from the losers. We're talking Beverly. Stanley, everybody that was in The Losers. And he informs them to come back because Pennywise is still around. Needless to say, they have their reservations, but the thing is, the others from The Losers, we're talking Beverly, Stanley, Eddie, Richie, everybody, other than Henry, moved out of Maine, which, great idea. Because if all this shit's going down in Maine, just like in any, any Stephen King novel or any Stephen King movie, if you're living in Maine, you're fucked. So the losers all rejoin back in Barry, Maine to speak with Henry regarding what's going on. They meet at a Chinese food restaurant, discuss what's going on, and Pennywise is playing his mind games, fucking with them. And to not give anything away, one of the losers isn't present for this. This does play a big role toward the end, and you do find out why this person isn't in uh, with this whole re re uh, reconvening of the losers. They have to basically go back and take care of Pennywise, where Henry apparently um, found some artifact that's supposed to contain Pennywise or contain it. And each person in the Losers is supposed to find their own artifact to put in this piece to try to contain Pennywise. Needless to say, a lot of the, there was a lot of decent jump scares. There was a lot of laughs in this movie. I'll be honest with everybody. I enjoyed the movie. It didn't necessarily come off as horror. It came off as thriller. There was definitely some thrilling moments there. But there was also a lot of comedy bits in it, like very subtle comedy bits. Like it wasn't trying to go overdo, over, overdo the funny, but you could tell that there was some comedy involved in It Chapter 2. I'm not in my opinion, now this is solely my opinion, you guys can take part in the comments section below what you thought as far as the thriller to comedy ratio. Again, there was a lot of stuff that was good. A lot of thrilling moments, a lot of scare mo moments, a lot of jump scares, and a decent amount of comedy, which I kind of take it out of that horror bit, and it's like kind of like comedy horror, comedy thriller-esque, if you will. Now, does this movie come to par with the original, the, fr the, the first part of it? Not, I'm not t discussing the original, I'm discussing the current It and It Chapter 2. 
just like any movie that has a sequel, it's very difficult for a movie for a sequel for a movie to actually like compete or at least like come to par with the the first movie of the se of the uh, series. This one I would say comes close, but I personally still enjoy um, the first it as far as the new one. It doesn't compete with the original. However, enjoying the movie as much as I did, the characters as far as everything were spot on to who they were supposed to portray. And the plot was solid. Of course, to get the good comedy bits in this movie, they had to have they had to cast Bill Hader as Richie, who basically played a comedian with a little questionable past that's not really explored too much. But 27 years later, Richie becomes a comedian. So that's basically a lot where the comedy bits come from. A lot of the funny bits are from Richie and sprinkled around through the rest of the cast, but it's mostly coming the comedy bits are mostly coming from Richie. So to conclude this video, to conclude this review, my final opinions on It Chapter 2. It was a solid movie. It definitely like followed up from uh, the first It. It didn't, it felt, you could feel the scares from it, but it just didn't like have, to me, in my opinion, it didn't have the same like level of fright as the original, as the first one. The characters all matched up to who they portrayed in the in the first film. The personalities were more developed, which was a plus in my book. And the actor that did Pen Pennywise, top-notch work, especially from the first one. In conclusion, my final scoring on the movie. Now, I've checked out and I've heard a lot of stuff regarding uh, certain, like Rotten Tomato, IMDb. Now, a lot of people may not agree with my opinion, but I would score It Chapter 2 to be at least a 7.5 out of 10. Main, the reason why it's 7.5 7 out of 10 mainly consists with, there was a, I don't want to say there was a lot of bits that were, that kind of like stretched longer than it should have, but it could have, like some of the scenes could have been condensed a bit, like there was like, I understand they were going for like more in-depth to the character, like, build up their their adulthood personas. Was it all that necessary? I mean, it was a three-hour movie. The only other reason, movie that I did a review on regarding that was the three-hour stretch was Avengers Endgame. Now, that was a long freaking movie. But, needless to say, both films I enjoyed. The characters, they developed, they, they covered the character development. But they were going more in-depth with it, which... It was alright. The jump scares kept me like focused on the movie. The characters kept me focused on the movie. The plot kept me focused on the movie. It's just the certain bits where, again, I'm trying to like keep this spoiler-free as humanly possible, where each character went to go get their artifacts, but it seemed like, I, I want to say at least one or two of them were a little stretched out more than they should have. Anyway, that's been my review of IT Chapter 2. Feel free to chime in in the comments section below. Let me know what you think. Give me an idea of what movie you want me to do a review on next. And don't you guys think I forgot that Rhea stabbed me in the John Wick 3 one. I know that's been a little, that's been, hasn't been touched base on in a while, but I'm gonna get them. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you have any feedback as far as what I could do more on these videos and more on these reviews, please let me know. I'm open to suggestions. Anyway, it's great to be back, and I will see you guys in the next video.